Straight from the kitchen of the Gold Rush Cafe. Good to have you here, Bob. Always a pleasure to have you in the kitchen, Pleased sir. Good to be back. And Thank you always you. make up such tasty, wonderful barbecue. I appreciate that. Yeah, you can smell your kitchen from up here. It smells so good. I tell you, it's Thank lovely. You. Down in Venice, one of the great places to eat. So you I got uh, two, two cast iron uh, yeah, kettles we have here. What one you cooking we're going to be cooking in and one that's we're going to show off a little bit. But we're doing okay. a Brunswick stew today. Which you is know, traditionally cooked in one of these pots. That's right. And it's really a barbecue favorite. Everybody loves a good barbecue. Brunswick stew and it's funny because you know the Brunswick stew where it came from there's a little argument there you know obviously there's Brunswick Georgia right but then there's also Brunswick County in Virginia uh -oh. and both play uh, uh, claim on that uh -oh. you know? but uh, I smell really, rivalry the, hunter, <laughs> the hunters are the ones that came up with this stew and you'll see what the variety of meats that are going to go in it but first we're going to start off with just a little bit of olive oil okay you know, it's always a good way to Sweat the onions and celery, which we're going to start with about two cups. Mm. So we get that going. And, you know, it's really important. You hear a lot of people talk about sweating the onions and sweating the carrots and whatever vegetables you're putting in there because it gives them a little more flavor and makes them a little more on the tender side before we even start the process of the soup. And of course, we're going to rush it up a little bit today. Uh, we're going to flavor the Brunswick stew with about a half a cup of ketchup. Got some fun squirting that in there with these new bottles. And then, of course, my favorite ingredient, the ah. Gold Rush barbecue sauce. Some good stuff. Or you can use your favorite barbecue sauce. I recommend one that's not too sweet. That's the only thing because we have the ketchup going in there. So you want to stir that up and get the vegetables going a bit. You can see we've settled it down some. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add the meat. Now, Brunswick stew has had ah. everything in it from rabbit <laughs> to squirrel to uh, beef, pos um, excuse me, beef, pork, or chicken, and we're going to do a combination of smoked pork. This is a mm. pound that we're putting in oh, there. That sounds now, great. if you want to make this at home, the idea is think ahead, and if you have some leftover pork, leftover beef, leftover chicken, save it up each time, and then make a nice Brunswick stew. Or you can go to really any barbecue restaurant and get these meats. And of course, I'd hope you come to Gold Rush. That'd be my choice. That'd be my choice too. <laughs> and then we're going to add a little salt and pepper. I always like to use fresh pepper. Definitely gives you the most flavor. Mm. And then we start with the uh, vegetables. We're going to do oh, some lima beans. Okay. That's the one real consistent vegetable in Brunswick stew is lima beans. Mm. And of course, some carrots. About 10 ounces of each. And these can be fresh or frozen. And then, of course, some corn. Okay, get that going. Now, sometimes people put potatoes in there. Today, we're not going to do that today. And then tomato. I like to use the uh, whole canned tomato. I think they're a nice way to go and gives you some big chunks in there. And you can always just, you know, break that up a little bit when you're gone. Now this stew is all going to, you know, start to simmer a little bit. And so we're going to want to add some more liquid to it. Uh, we at Gold Rush, of course, have the luxury of overnight pork drippings. You know, they're in the smoker uh, when we come in in the morning. Hot dog, And yeah. if anybody wants to try this and pick up some, call ahead. I'll be happy to get you some. Or you can use liquid smoke. But we're going to use the Gold Rush pork drippings. That gives the stew that mm. little bit of extra smoky flavor. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be tasty. <laughs> and then the chicken broth. I like to use the low sodium because you've got a lot of salt and other items going in there. And again, this is just simply. Something that's fun you can, you know, make in-house or at home on the grill or out camping in a big pot like this. You know, this cast iron uh, pot is a Dutch oven, and it was actually uh, invented by Paul Revere. Oh, you know, no he was kidding. a blacksmith. I'll be darned. Yeah. And so this is going to simmer for about an hour. Mm. Okay. And then, and then what is the, I got to look at the one final okay. ingredient: yep. a stick of butter. A whole stick. All that's right. the big that's surprise. That's what I'm talking there. about. And then here we are. Ready to go. Oh, this is simmered for about an hour, and you can see it's a nice, hearty, meaty vegetable oh, based stew. That looks delicious. And the recipe yeah. for it is on our website, sure mysuncoast.com. But I'm betting it's also on uh, the menu down at Gold Rush, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, it's not mm. on the menu, actually. Oh, but really? I wanted to share this uh, oh. good recipe with everyone that I've always made. And of course, you want to have some good cornbread with it. And mm. I, I know that's one of your favorites at Gold Rush. Oh, that's so good. What do you think? And if you like it a little spicy, mm. you can add a little uh, hot sauce on top. That's great. We'll be right back while I eat. This is so good. <laughs> I just like it.